distinguished dignitaries of the School of Business Studies, senior faculty, and research scholars, and dear students, a very good afternoon to all of you. I am Nidal Bashir, along with my co-host, Anna Magdumi, on behalf of the Department of Tourism, Hospitality, and Leisure Studies, extend a warm welcome to all of you to this wonderful event. Today we are assembled here to celebrate World Tourism Day 2022. It is indeed a pleasure to moderate this, in this session of, of this event for the celebration of World Tourism Day. World Tourism Day is commemorated each year on 27th of September to spread awareness about the importance of tourism and the beauty of our planet. For this purpose, for this year, the UNWTO has come up with a worldwide theme of rethinking tourism. The basic approach of this year's theme is to rethink, reimagine, and redevelop the way we approach tourism in general. We have to be thinking along the lines of being more sustainable in our approach. This year, it is not only about attracting visitors, but also empowering small businesses in the sector with the access to information, networking opportunities, and exposure. Indeed, a matter of great pleasure to see this gathering when we are celebrating the World Tourism Day 2022. As all of us are one way and another way associated with tourism, be it the dignitaries on the dais or the dignitaries of the dais or the scholars and students. You all are aware about the fact that over the period of the time, travel and tourism industry has emerged as one of the important industry which has been playing a very pivotal role in the overall socio-economic development. With the passage of time, we see changes, we see increase in facilities, we see increase in services, and at the same time, when we are experiencing that tourism is emerging as one of the fastest growing industry in the world, it is also one of the world's highly competitive industry. It is an industry which is playing an important role in the overall socio-economic development. Despite various odds, especially when we are talking about the recent past, when tourism received the serious setback because of the COVID-19. But despite, we see that the figures, whether at domestic tourism level or international tourism level, they are very encouraging. There used to be the time when tourism was confined to few regions of the world. But realizing the importance of tourism, what it is playing in the overall socio-economic development, every region and every country is trying this level best to attract more and more tourists to get benefited from this highly industry. Talking about our own area, the Valley of Kashmir, or the Union Territory of Jammu and Kashmir, to which nature has bestowed with innumerable natural resources and, of course, a rich cultural heritage, had a vast experience and had in, enjoyed tourism since time was immemorial. Today, when we are assembled here and we are celebrating the World Tourism Day 2022 with the theme, Rethinking Tourism, because when we are talking about tourism, it is not only that it is playing a very pivotal role in the overall economic development, but definitely it is not without negative impacts. United Nations World Tourism Organization has given the theme rethinking tourism this year, realizing that tourism is having both positive as well as negative impacts. And if it is not properly planned and developed, it can have more negative impacts than positive impacts. Definitely, it is our responsibility 
as a host community for the millions of tourists who are coming from different parts of the country or from the different parts of the world to host them and be eco-friendly. And at the same time, it is the responsibility of the visiting tourists also to respect the local culture, local tradition, flora, fauna, ecology, and environment. First of all, I, as registered University of Kashmir, to be honest, I feel proud that today we have both the guests as alumnus of our University of Kashmir. Sarman Saab is a pass out of University of Kashmir and Mahmoud Saab is also a pass out of University of Kashmir. And they are now looking after, Mahmoud Saab has already looked after the tourism department and Sarman Saab is as Commissioner Secretary Tourism Department. And again, I congratulate Mr. Sarman Saab for the, first we see that we all say that this year we had a huge footfall of tourists in, in, in Kashmir Valley. But managing of abrupt footfall or rush of tourists is equally a Herculean task. But when we see that this year how the huge footfall of tourists was managed by none other than the Commissioner Secretary of Tourism, Mr. Salman Saab and his team, it is a, a commendable and they deserve all praises for managing such a huge rush of tourists. I sir, congratulate you on that part also. Vis-a-vis -vis the, because they are the players, they are the experts in tourism and I am a man outside from the tourism, rather we are an academics. And when we talk of the academics in the University of Kashmir, uh, we all know that University of Kashmir is the oldest university in UT of JNK, rather it has taken its birth just after independence, 1948. And we have grown to a main university and to the multiple campuses which we have established in North, South, Kupwara and we had a presence of Leh and Kargil and also at Zakura. So at present University of Kashmir has grown, grown into a huge multi-campus university and uh, we all know that the credentials of university cannot be ignored and we are a university with a NAC A plus grade and with an NRF ranking of 54. And we also fall in the category of 450 to 500 at the international level. So, as University of Kashmir, we do have a responsibility to produce a human resource which is skilled and which will contribute to the development of Union territory as well as the nation. We have already, Riyasab, I don't know whether he talked about it or not, but we have already uh, signed an MO with Tata Group, Tata Consultancy Group, where they will be recycling our students so that they can be trained and upcycled with the Tata Consultancies. And uh, there is a definite plan and roadmap how they will be training the students of tourism and how they can be helpful for the tourism industry in JNK and the country as a whole. Uh, today uh, we have come uh, to deliberate upon the World Tourism Day. Kashmiriyon ki kuch, we have certain attributes, uh, very strong att attributes. Kashmiri ya to tourism ke baare mein emotional hoga kashmiri ya to handicraft ke baare mein emotional hoga ya kashmiri horticulture particularly apple ke baare mein emotional hoga so whenever the discussion on these three subjects is happening a kashmiri naturally becomes emotional kashmir ka ek tourism ka ek history raha hai and we have a unique history as far as our tourism is concerned just to take you down in the history. So just for the sake of some of the students, of course, I am sure that most of the audience will be knowing it. 72 AD, mein, kya hota hai yahan pe Kansaka ki hukumat hoti hai. Uh, Buddhist, th fourth Buddhist council happens here. So mice ki jo shuru aate hai, jise meetings, incentives, uh, conferences kehte hai, to mice ki shuru aate jo hai Kashmir se hui hai. Then, 
1586 मुगल्स कम टू कश्मीर ये नसीम बाग यहाँ पे है जहाँ पे हम अक्सर बेशर गुजरते थे मैं भी जब यूनिवर्सिटी में हुआ करता था तो जहांगीर वट ही यूज टू डू देयर इज दैट ही यूज टू हैव म्यूजिशंस प्लेइंग म्यूजिक सामने डल था पीछे जबरवन है तो ऑन जबरवन दे यूज टू लाइट फायर्स सो दैट वॉज दैट टाइम साउंड एंड लाइट शो तो साउंड एंड लाइट शो की जो शुरुआत हुई है वो यहाँ नसीम बाग से शुरू हुई है देन फिरदोसी वॉज द रॉयल पॉइंट अगर फिरदोस बरो जमी अस्त तो टूरिज्म स्लोगन द फर्स्ट टूरिज्म स्लोगन ऑफ द वर्ल्ड हैज कम फ्रॉम कश्मीर सो दिस इज अवर हिस्ट्री देन देर आर मल्टीपल थिंग्स विच कश्मीर हैज गिवन टू द वर्ल्ड टूरिज्म अनफॉर्चुनेटली देर आर अप्स एंड डाउन तो नाइन्टी के बाद हमने थोड़ा डाउन स्विमिंग देखा वी सो साइकल्स अप एंड डाउन एंड थैंकफुली कश्मीर इज बैक ऑन ट्रैक एंड दिस ईयर वी हैड द बेस्ट एवर टूरिज्म अराइवल्स नाउ वेन वी आर एट दिस जंक्चर वट वी हैव टू डू Today's theme is uh, rethinking uh, tourism. Unfortunately, because of these turbulent times, हमारे जो products थे we have mainly been able to highlight the physical beauty or the physical attributes of Kashmir. We have not been able to diversify our tourism products. Last year हमने we got a very unique distinction of UNESCO Creative Cities uh, Network में श्रीनगर का नाम दाखिल हुआ for craft and folk art. तो उसमें हमने we started a series of craft tours. and uh, i'm thankful to the both riyaz sahab and shanawas sahab and then we took some of the students also on these craft tours and nowadays craft tour is becoming uh, a, a very good package and i'm happy that a lot of tourist traffic is coming over uh, to see these artisans um, working in their workplaces so one of the products which we are able to uh, create and then today uh, the efforts from the tourism department are there to combine um, uh, handicraft heritage and culture and cuisine with it and this becomes a unbeatable package but then there are issues ab unfortunately uh, one of a uh, a very uh, big officer in uh, the is uh, asked me or rather requested me bhai mere ko downtown mein jana hai i have to do a heritage tour i struggled to find a qualified guide to maine kya kiya jab mere se koi nahi mila i conducted him myself to main khud gaya और मैंने उसको कंडक्ट किया तो कमिंग बैक टू अवर करिकुलम दिस शुड हैव बीन इनकॉर्पोरेटेड इन योर करिकुलम तो आई डोंट नो व्हाट इज हमारे श्रीनगर के बारे में वहां पे आपके करिकुलम में क्या है एंड देन आई आल्सो कीप ऑन इंटरेक्टिंग विद द स्टूडेंट्स और जब हम स्टूडेंट्स से पूछते हैं दुनिया की हाइस्ट विच इज द हाइस्ट पीक इन द वर्ल्ड सो दे खटक से बोलते हैं के uh, का स्टूडेंट माउंट एवरेस्ट वेन इट वेन वी आस विच इज द लॉन्गेस्ट रिवर पीपल से नायल फिर जब हम उनको बोलते हैं कश्मीर की हाइस्ट पीक बताओ सो दे हैव नो आंसर दे ब्लैंक एंड देन वेन वी टेल दम कश्मीर के पांच दरिया हद ये है कि जब बच्चे से पांच दरिया पूछते हैं तो वो लेक्स के नाम बताता है सो दैट इज द लेवल ऑफ अवर अंडरस्टैंडिंग सो वट वी शुड डू इज दैट वी शुड ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड अवर ओन होम होम लैंड अवर ओन बैक यार्ड तो मेरे साथ एक बड़ी ये जो है दुविधा हुई कि वेन आई ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड कश्मीर आई हैड टू रिलाई ऑन यूरोपियन ट्रेकलॉग चाहे जो यहाँ पे डॉक्टर नीव आया बिस्को आया सो ऑन देर हैव बीन काउंटलेस ट्रेवलर्स एंड दे हैव लेफ्ट अ वेल्थ ऑफ नॉलेज और जो अंग्रेजी में वी कैन ऑल रीड एंड राइट एंड दे वेर ऑल्सो इंस्ट्रूमेंटल इन जैसे यहाँ पे एक जो बिफोर मुगल्स यहाँ पे जो है मिर्जा हैदर आया ही रूल कश्मीर फॉर अलेवन ईयर्स ही लेफ्ट अ रिकॉर्ड कॉल तारीख रशीदी तो तारीख रशीदी पर्शियन में है इट वॉज सर डैनियल रॉस हु translated tarikh e rashidi into english then we have uh, kashmir has a unique distinction of having a 500 5000 years of recorded history which was written by pandit kalhan and then it was further written by or improved uh, by different authors to uh, rajdarani ko translate karne ke liye again a hungarian uh, scholar came uh, stayed who translated it to english and now we are able to uh, this not read and understand Uh, what is written in um, uh, tarikh e rashidi what is written in raj tarangni so we need to understand our own uh, backyard now currently when we talk about diversifying the products so uh, there is a challenge there is a big challenge mai 2 uh, saal pehle i did a trek i trekked in uh, mai kishtwar gaya kishtwar se aage wadwan ek jagah hai to 
आई टोक अ फोटोग्राफ तो मैंने सोशल मीडिया पे चढ़ाया शाम को मेरे को जर्नलिस्ट कॉल भी बोला फोटोग्राफ तो अच्छा है आप कुछ लिखते क्यों नहीं हैं तो देन समा विट मीन इन द बैक ऑफ माई माइंड मैंने थोड़ा रिसर्च किया वट इज रिटर्न ऑन वर्ड वन तो मैंने जब वर्ड वन के बारे में सर्च किया तो आई फाउंड टू आर्टिकल्स वन आर्टिकल वॉज रिटन बाई टूरिज्म स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ सेंट्रल यूनिवर्सिटी एंड सेकेंड आर्टिकल वॉज रिटन ऑन वर्ड वन बाई सम बड़ी जर्नलिस्ट राइटिंग फॉर जी के एंड टू माई डिस में आई फाउंड द इन्फॉर्मेशन इन बोथ द आर्टिकल्स वॉज रॉन्ग सो देन इट थाट केम टू माई अगर मैं ठीक नहीं करूँगा फिर किस कौन ठीक करेगा सो आई ट्राई टू एड्रेस दिस इन्फॉर्मेशन डेफिसिट एंड वर्ल्ड डूइंग वर्ल्ड ट्राई टू एड्रेस दिस इन्फॉर्मेशन डेफिसिट आई टोट फाइव सेवन आर्टिकल्स देन वंस अ वर्ल्ड आई हैपन टू गो टू त्राल तो मैं त्राल गया तो त्राल के बारे में तो सारे लोग उन दिनों दो चार साल पहले तो आपको पता है त्राल की सिचुएशन क्या थी तो देन देर इज मच मोर देन त्राल देन दिस नेगेटिव वीड सो आई रोट अ पीस ऑन त्राल ऑल्सो तो त्राल में जो है जस्ट फ्यू थिंग्स अबाउट त्राल इज दैट हालांकि आई कम फ्रॉम डाउन टाउन द हाइस्ट नंबर ऑफ न्यूअल थिक साइट्स आर इन त्राल नंबर ऑफ देर आर नंबर ऑफ फॉसल साइट्स विच आर इन त्राल देर आर क्वाइट नंबर ऑफ स्प्रिंग्स विच आर इन त्राल हमारे सबसे ज़्यादा सूफी श्राइंस वहाँ है वी हैव अ पार्ट ऑफ दाची गम देयर विच हैबिटेट ऑफ हॉन्ग सो काउंटलेस ट्रैकिंग ट्रेल्स आर देयर तो इवन त्राल जैसा एक प्रोडक्ट बन सकता है बट प्रोवाइडेड वी एड्रेस दिस इंफॉर्मेशन डेफिसिट सो ये आप पे लाजम है पीपल हु आर डूइंग दिस टूरिज्म स्टडीज इज नॉट हम भी जब पढ़ते थे तो हमको भी ये उम्मीद थी कि कभी हम नौकरी लगेंगे बट देन इफ यू डू समथिंग विद लॉट ऑफ पैशन देन द अपॉर्चुनिटीज ओपन अप यहाँ पे लोग आते हैं वी स्ट्रगल टू फाइंड गाइड्स हु कैन कंडक्ट देम हु कैन शो दम मजार सलातीन कहाँ पे है रेंजन शाह कहाँ पे दफन है मैंने तो बहुत लोगों से ये पूछने की कोशिश की मैंने बोला शाहमीर कहाँ पे दफन है तो वेरी फ्यू पीपल नो इट सो देर इज लॉट टू अंडरस्टैंड एंड नो अबाउट कश्मीर आई होप दैट गैदरिंग्स लाइक दिस आर एबल टू एड्रेस दिस इन्फॉर्मेशन डेफिसिट थैंक यू फॉर गेटिंग मी हेयर एंड इट वॉज ऑन द ट्वेंटी सेवेंथ ऑफ सेप्टेम्बर वर्ल्ड टूरिज्म डे जब हमने ये अहद किया और हमने ये सोचा कि वी नीड टू टेक इनिशिएटिव हमारा यहाँ का टूरिज़म जो है हमेशा बहुत रिजिलियंट रहा है वी हैव गॉन थ्रू सम वेरी डिफ़िकल्ट टाइम्स एज वी आर ऑल अवेयर दोज डिफ़िकल्ट लास्ट थ्री डेकेड्स एंड फ्राम टाइम टू टाइम वी हैड सम वेरी डिफ़िकल्ट टाइम्स बट टूरिज़म इज़ ऑलवेज बीन रिजिलियंट ऑलवेज बाउंस बैक एंड आई ट्राई टू इनकलकेट दिस बिलीफ दैट वेन एवर यू हैव डिफ़िकल्ट टाइम्स देर इज़ ऑलवेज एन अपॉर्चुनिटी इन दिस even in difficulty you can find some opportunity and the opportunity that we found in these times especially the covid times was that like somebody mentioned here earlier that a lot of people from all over the country who would like to travel abroad could not because of the travel restrictions and international flights not being available we thought that it is we should invite them here we should try and do everything possible to create conditions here to bring them here and that is how tourism had a resurgence the theme for today's world tourism day is how do we rethink tourism for me it has two meanings why i think for the rest of the world what it really means it not just about the environment not just about responsible tourism like mushtaq sahab mentioned but also the challenges we face post covid because it was the tourism industry that suffered the most people could not travel people could not move out of their houses and tourism industry was on the verge of collapse and when we talk of tourism industry we can imagine how it affects the people here in jammu and kashmir like he mentioned about i don't know mahmood saab said that about half a million people are connected with tourism as far as i am concerned i think it's much more because for me tourism that does not just mean the travel agents and the hoteliers or the shikara walas or the houseboat houseboat walas tourism that just not does not mean the beautiful mountains and the lakes and the streams for me tourism is all encompassing tourism is my handicrafts my horticulture tourism is the cuisine that we have here on offer our heritage our culture there is so much that we have to offer and there the benefits of tourism it's often been said that tourism can con- contributes about 7 to 8% to our gdp but if you look at that as a national figure i think in jammu and kashmir it does much more than that 
I was hoping that the University of Kashmir comes out with a study on that and tells us really how tourism benefits every person. How it goes down to the grassroots level. Perhaps that is also the reason I'm, when I say tourism, I also talk about handicrafts and iron looms. I also talk about so many other things. For example, with handicrafts, my friend Mahmood Sahab is here, director handicrafts. There is no single place in the world, and I can say this with confidence, which has so much on offer when it comes to handicrafts and iron loom as this one place, Kashmir. And the kind of quality we have on offer, the kind of products we have, no one single place in the world. If you've traveled the world and you've seen many places, you'll find there are exclusive showrooms of Kashmir handicraft. This is really big. And where does this happen? Where does this handicraft come from? It comes from homes. It comes from downtown Sirinagar. It comes from the villages. It comes from those women who work at home in winter, men who cannot go out, who have nothing else to do in winter. They work on handicrafts. And that is one thing which is also part of my tourism for me. We have decided this year, like Mahmood Saab had just mentioned, he was talking about, I think he had some very valid points, some very valid issue. This is expected. This is what we expect from the University of Kashmir and the students here, that we try and contribute to tourism. We try and see, like he was talking about translations, he was talking about places, he was talking about the articles that could be written on tourism, on the products that we have. And this is where I think you can contribute. You can partner with us. I know the registrar just mentioned that we should have a kind of an internship or kind of a partnership with the students here, the department. But I can tell you that I have been here, Secretary Tourism, for two years now. And this is the first time I heard this from the University of Kashmir. Nobody has ever come to me to tell me that yes, we have these students who can contribute to tourism. And we always, we all of us have a responsibility towards that. I know that all of you are in tourism, not just because you thought it's a good subject, not just because you had an idea or you thought that perhaps better job opportunities. A lot of you must be in tourism because of the emotional connect you feel with the place. And I'm sure that if you feel that emotional connect, you can truly make a difference. You can move, truly make a difference to how tourism works. <laughs> I think that it's very important that you keep having seminars, you keep having, and not just seminars, where we just come and we speak and we hear people talk. I think we should be a little more practical. I think that like, just like I told you that I have a practical approach, I want your students working with me in the department, contributing to tourism. Thank you so much. I was speaking on the sidelines of this event today with Riyaz Saab, and I was student Loki Saab, I was talking travel agent is a big role in the industry. This is a brand ambassador, hota hai. travel agent, jo hai, this is an important component of the industry which uh, promotes a destination. Karta hai. Dusre bhi stakeholders, hai, of course, they have a role. For example, if there is a hotel here, he goes to the product ko jab marketing ke liye jata hai, bahar travel trade fairs or ya kisi uh, event or any uh, potential uske principal agents, so they talk about their marketing and property. Ke mein bolta hai. Lekin as far as the tour operator is concerned, hum log destination ko promote karte hain we are the brand ambassadors so isliye hamara ek aham role banta hai so i am very proud that i am heading the organization of the uh, you know travel agents association of kashmir uh, as far as today, today's event is concerned uh, aaj ka jo theme hai that's rethinking tourism uh, i have been interacting with my uh, you know head of the family mr sarmad hafiz who's, who's the secretary of the tourism Inka bahut hi zyada immense role reh chuka hai industry mein i think he has been serving the industry for more than 15 years now aur uh, mahmood saab bhi industry mein uh, assistant director se leke fir director tourism the to inka ek aham role banta hai industry mein i have been interacting with them and as far as rethinking tourism for kashmir is concerned i believe ecology and environment is very paramount agar hum agar kisi offbeat destination ko hum log promote karte hain to wahan ki ecology aur environment ko hame khas khayal rakhna chahiye just because ki kashmir is a place jahan ki ecology uh, fragile hai aur yahan pe agar hum log concrete constructions start karenge jaise ki mere 
काबिल दोस्त मुश्ताक पहलगामी ने बता दिया कि सोनमर्ग इस वक्त कंक्रीट जंगल बन चुका है हमारे पास डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ टूरिज्म हैज़ आइडेंटिफाइड 75 फाइव ऑफ वी डेस्टिनेशन इन जम्मू एंड कश्मीर जिसमें 37 सेवन डेस्टिनेशन हमारी वैली में हैं तो ऐसी डेस्टिनेशन पे हमें कंक्रीट कंस्ट्रक्शन नहीं करनी चाहिए यहाँ पे अगर आप कोई इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर बनाना चाहते हैं उसको इको फ्रेंडली लाइन्स पे करना चाहिए बिकॉज फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू नो इट विल सेव आवर एनवायरमेंट एंड इकोलॉजी इट विल सेव आवर नेचुरल रिसोर्स एंड ऑफकोर्स इट हैज़ टू ब्लैंड वेल विद आवर इकोलॉजी एंड एनवायरमेंट I believe that you are the future of this industry. Uh, tourism industry, as you know, that it has a trickle down impact. हमारी जो economy है कश्मीर की ये horticulture पे dependent रहती है, especially our rural economy. लेकिन जो tourism industry है, it has a trickle down impact. ये हमारे लिए बहुत ज़्यादा jobs create करती है. Sometimes I feel very sad जब मैं tourism graduates को बेकार unemployed देखता हूँ. लेकिन आई एश्योर यू अगर आप अच्छे से पढ़ाई करेंगे हम स्टेक होल्डर्स के साथ इंटरेक्ट करेंगे आई एम श्योर टू योर फ्यूचर इज गोइंग टू बी वेरी ब्राइट इनशाला